Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing the performance testing of the newly launched OnePlus Nord 5. Now OnePlus Nord 5 comes uh, with uh, the Snapdragon 8s Gen 3 and it comes with 12GB RAM, Android 15 out of the box, Oxeno is 15 and uh, LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 3.1 storage support. So let's see how good the performance is. So we'll be using the throttling test, the stress test, the storage test, antitrust score, and also the Geekbench test to see how it performs in terms of synthetic benchmark scores and so also uh, the uh, stability of the device. So let's start the test. So uh, let's just open the about phone on this device. So about device. So OnePlus Nord 5, Snapdragon 8 is Gen 3 mobile platform, 6800 mAh battery and you get Android 15 and OnePlus Oxygen OS 15. So let's start the uh, test. So we have right now 86% of the battery and uh, let's see the temperature before the test. So you can see 31.9, almost 32 degrees and let's start with a CPU throttling test. So 86% battery right now and let's start the cpu throttling test so it's a 15 uh, minute test uh, let's see how good the experience is on this device and how good the stability is So now we have completed the, the CPU throttling test and you can see here it has a very good score of 93% so CPU throttle to 93% of its max performance which is very good performance actually and the battery drain was from 86% to 81% that means around 5% drop in terms of battery and let's see the temperature so it's from 31 degrees it has come up to 37 degrees so just uh, 5 6 degrees increase so that's pretty good actually so no major issues uh, faced uh, with uh, the device in terms of throttling test so you can see here uh, cpu throttling test uh, was pretty good the max gibbs was 297 while the minimum was 265 and average was 284 so a 93 percentage of its max performance is the throttling value Value, which is pretty good next let's go to uh, the stress test which is a 20 loop test and let's see how good the stability is so the next test uh, is the 3d mark wildlife extreme stress test so we'll just open that and you can see here the wildlife extreme stress test is a 20 minute uh, test that uh, shows how a device performs under longer periods of heavy load so it will show the stability of the device uh, under extreme load so 20 minute test and let's see the battery right now 80 percentage battery and let's see the temperature so 32 degrees so we are back to the normal temperature 32 degrees let's start the 3d mark wildlife extreme stress test 80 percentage is the battery right now so once this is complete we'll report the stability of the oneplus nord 5 So now we have completed the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and you can see the stability score 88.8 percentage and the battery drain is from 80 percentage to 69 percent that means 11 percentage drop in the 20 minute wildlife extreme stress test so the stability score is pretty good the best loop score is 3192 and the lowest loop score is 2834 now you can also see the temperature 33 degrees to 39 degrees it went around 6 uh, degree increase and you can see that the battery drop was 80 to 69 percentage and the frame rate was 12 to 23 fps so that was the wildlife extreme uh, stress test next let's go to the antitude score so we have the antitude benchmark uh, score we already tested it so you can see here uh, 14 lakh 36350 is the antitude benchmark score and you can see the cpu the GPU memory score and the UX score and you can see that the temperature rise was from 30 degrees to 37 degrees uh, during the test uh, 7.2 degrees increase and 6 percentage battery drop with the anti-2 test so that was the anti-2 benchmark test and the uh, score is 14 lakh 36350 next is the storage test 
So here we have UFS 3.1 storage support. Uh, OnePlus Nord 4 did have UFS 4.1. This is UFS 3.1. Uh, the score is 1,31,478. Uh, sequential uh, read and write score and the random access score and the AI score. So this is the storage test UFS 3.1 on this device. And finally, let's go to the Geekbench test. So we already performed the test. So here we have single core score. 2002-2002 is the single core score and the multi core score is 5004 which is pretty good for the Snapdragon 8s Gen 3 processor. So overall I would say the stability of uh, the device uh, with respect to CPU throttling test, the stress test was quite good and it was stable, the temperature rise was also controlled very well uh, with the vapor chamber cooling and uh, looks uh, pretty good in terms of performance. So that was the CPU throttling test, the Geekbench. Uh, the Android 2 score and also the stress test of the OnePlus Nord 5. So, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.